What's going on my friends? DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Memorial Day weekend 2019. We are double booked this weekend. So today is Saturday. We have a wedding today. We have a wedding tomorrow, which is Sunday. Today's wedding is about an hour and a half away. So it is currently 10.33. I wanted to leave at 10.30. So we're doing pretty good on time there. I do need to stop and grab something to eat. Uh, ceremony starts at 2 p.m. So we need to be set up and ready to go by 1.30, which is why we're leaving so early here. This actually ends around 10 p.m. I believe, so it's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be worth it. Tomorrow's wedding, we are doing reception only, so that doesn't start until I believe 6 p.m., which kudos to that, it's awesome. So I will have some free time tomorrow during the day to just hang out, chill, and maybe enjoy a little bit of this Memorial Day weekend. But all right, guys, we are gonna hit the road, go grab something to eat. I will catch up to you when we get to Grand Rapids. Peace. All right, we're back. Welcome to Fallisburg Park in Lowell, Michigan. It's about an hour and a half away from my house. We got the ceremony site right here. Uh, it was supposed to be raining today. Luckily it's not, so we're gonna be able to do the ceremony outside after all. But we do have a slight issue. So it's extremely humid today and that has caused the floors caused all the floors in the reception hall to start sweating profusely. Like it's, it's pretty wet in there. I'm a little worried about people slipping. So uh, I'm gonna try and get set up, keep my cables off the ground as much as possible, and uh, yeah, go from there. But ceremony outside should be no issue at all. Let's get set up. So, I have my battery powered ceremony set up, but uh, it's looking like it's gonna rain a little bit. So I moved out of the grass here, and now I'm up on the uh, covered patio porch of the venue. Uh, but real quick, I just wanna walk, wanna walk you guys through my setup. Got the iPad Pro, playing iTunes. Uh, sure, SLX4 mic. This is a Rockville studio monitor stand, and the JBL Eon One Pro. So I've just got the one handheld mic out, for, out there for the officiant. And here we had to drastically cut the setup down just because of space and then the, the floors being wet. But I've got both of my RCF 735As on Rockville air assist tripods. Got the Gravity T-Bar with two Shave Wash FX 2s with the wireless donor system daisy chaining those. Uh, then back here, just Rain 12, Rain 62, 2013 MacBook Pro. That's all we have today, guys. I cut my setup way down. I didn't want to set up the facade or put scrims on the speaker stands because these floors are wet and I just didn't want them getting wet. So uh, back to the old school traditional setup. We got about 20 minutes before ceremony kicks off, so I'm going to head back out there, play some uh, music for that. And uh, then we'll kick off cocktail hour and get the show on the road. Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. We're in this together now Give me your love and tell me your secrets Cause we're in this together now Yeah, we're in this together now I 
I'll keep you safe, I'll give you my everything Even if we're falling down Even if we're falling down All of me is yours, every part of me Cause we're in this together now You and me together now What's the point of Well, as you can tell, I did not film an outro to that video because uh, I kind of wanted to reflect on it. Uh, it was it was an interesting one. You know, first off, you guys probably saw that the floors were wet when I got there. That sucked. Uh, so I couldn't set up facade. I didn't want to set up facade. Plus, I was kind of tight for space there anyway. Didn't couldn't do scrims in the tripods because I didn't want the scrims getting all nasty from the wet floors. Uh, it did rain a little bit for ceremony, so I had to set up a little farther away than I would have liked. Recap on the Eon One Pro. Music-wise, solid. Mic-wise, I had it. I literally had the channel turned all the way up. So if the speaker would have been closer, it probably would have sounded better. Uh, I'm gonna adjust the volume on the back of my uh, mic uh, transmitter as well to turn that up, maybe make it a little bit louder. But overall, solid gig. Uh, I was super hot in that venue just because they had the doors closed with the fireplace going, trying to dry out the floors. Then once everybody got there, they opened it up. But still having that fire going when it's 70-some degrees out, just it made it really hot in there. So that was a super challenge to get people dancing because of that. Plus, it's just beautiful outside. And once the rain stopped, it only sprinkled for a little while during the ceremony. And then it cleared up. The sun came out. It was beautiful. So everybody was kind of outside in England and hanging out. Once the sun started to go down, though, I did get some people out on the dance floor. You saw that. Uh, it was also a pretty long wedding, longer than I would have recommended. The ceremony started at 2, and I played till 9.30, so that's a long time to be there. Uh, I recommend no longer than 5 hours for a reception, and then allocate about an hour for ceremony. But overall, yeah, it was an awesome gig. Caleb, Lauren, thank you guys so much. Uh, great couple, super fun. Uh, fun fact about this one is they actually had had me booked for October. They contacted me a few months ago, and they're like, hey, uh, we got some some news Lauren's actually expecting so we're gonna push the wedding up I'm like hey not a big deal at all man like that's congratulations that's great see what I can do I was able to move the wedding up did it in May knocked it knocked it out of the park it was a great time hope you guys enjoyed yourself and congratulations on the baby boy the cake cutting was a gender reveal so cut the cake blue slice came out so congratulations on the baby boy guys but real quick uh, before I wrap this video up I do want to touch on a couple things if you are not a member of the DJ's vault I definitely recommend you join link down below if you've never heard of it the DJ's vault is ran by DJ Joe Bunn he runs Bunn DJ Co out of Raleigh North Carolina super awesome dude he puts out tons of great content to help you grow your business and scale as a DJ uh, second if you're not using Vibo for your wedding planning it is the future of wedding and event planning applications for DJs. It is amazing. Uh, this wedding right here was actually the first one that I had used Vibo on, and they absolutely loved it. They thought it was so awesome. They invited their entire wedding party to add songs to the list. Uh, I would recommend setting a limit on the request list because I ended up with like 200 song requests. But uh, either way, it worked out great. So Vibo, definitely recommend that. Link down to that below as well. Tell Michael over at Vibo that I sent you when you do your consultation. I promise you, you won't regret it. But as always, guys, if you're new around here, please subscribe. Please click that like button. Please click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. Got another gig log tomorrow, which is actually today. But 
I'm filming the outro for last night's oh, movie magic, guys. Movie magic. Peace.